I want to do a follow-up video on Rooney. So I think I'm, I'm up on like 49 or 55 dislikes. So I just want to just fully just maybe just add a bit to what I didn't say. I still stand behind what I said. But maybe I need to fully um, say what would I said. So, so, okay, so this is a better explanation. 100% Rooney is still not a legend. He's still not a Premier League legend. But thinking about it even further... By default, he is a Manchester United legend. Emotions took over me because for me, I'm a guy of what have you done for me lately. His last season was so garbage, was so atrocious that I said, I don't, I don't care what he did before. All I remember is that that last season was so awful that for, forget it. But you know, he's still a United legend because at the end of the day, based on how many years he spent there, the goals that he has scored, his service to United, come on, he has to be. But I wanted to even add even more something that I did not add is his move to Everton. You see, footballers get criticized. I mean, that's flipping clown, Ezekiel Lau Vetsi, who was seen doing something to his girlfriend some years ago, like look, um, eating something. Um he's on like six hundred thousand a week. Like what's it called? Seven six hundred, five hundred thousand, five thousand a week. Rooney could have easily taken the channel of 100%. Rooney is still a big enough name in that market for Chinese clubs to want him and for him to, to go there. He could have even gone to MLS to, to, to LA. But the fact that, based on your popularity, forget about, again, yes, you've been garbage last, last season. There's still kids who love Rooney. Rooney is still a, a big name. He's still, he still attracts people. He just is. He's still that name. But by him choosing Everton, that's real. That's really real. Because Everton ain't these Chinese clubs. Like Schengen and, Sh and Shanghai. They ain't MLS. They don't have the kind of class and the kind of money that those teams could have paid him. So he definitely took a pay call. And he's going back home. So he chose to like, you know what, let me go back home. Let me go back to the real. Let me go back to the roots. Let me go back to the beginning. So he wasn't, you know, swayed or um, tempted. He didn't fall into the, the temptations of the mighty dollar that so many footballers have fallen into where so many footballers have just chased the cash. They, they, they've chased the money. This was, and it's so rare in modern football. It is so rare to see this. This was a footballing decision. Purely by football. And I've been a proponent of football, football, football. Hence why I've been so against club for footballers. Club football as a whole, where it's just about money, it's been ruined, the, the, the purity is gone. But rare moves like this by Wayne Jeremiah Rooney says, you know what, I've got to applaud him. Let's just put his brickery aside. I applaud him, and he has my, my respect for choosing Everton. That That's a big move. How well could he do at Everton? I don't know. I don't know, because you may say, okay, look, he's crap, he's done. Maybe going back home, different team... Different circumstance, different environment, the amount of support he will have, especially in those first 10 games, the kind of support he will have, especially when, especially when he, he plays that first home game at Goodison Park, that could just catapult him and maybe rejuvenate him and further reinvent his football. You're waiting to see Boruni. I salute you for making that move.